Welcome back to Deep Blue Secrets. Today's story is about a fisherman's strange encounter at sea. Is it a true tale of mystery or just another fishy story? The wind whipped against Chohei's weathered face. Salt spray stung his eyes. He gripped the fishing rod, a familiar weight against his calloused hands. The Chilean coastline, rugged and unforgiving, held the promise of a catch like no other. Jorge, a man of the sea, had spent his life chasing that promise. He dreamed of hauling in a fish of legend, a creature that would etch his name in the annals of fishermen's tales. Each day he ventured out, his small boat a lone warrior against the vast Pacific. The sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of fiery orange and deep violet. The air grew colder, the sea rougher. Jorge, however, remained undeterred. Tonight felt different. Tonight, he could feel it in his bones. Years blended into each other, marked only by the changing seasons and the constant rhythm of the waves. Jorge's hair turned silver, his face etched with the lines of a life lived at sea. The legendary fish, however, remained elusive. Doubt, like a persistent undertow, began to tug at Jorge's resolve. Was he chasing a phantom? Had the sea grown weary of his relentless pursuit? The whispers of the other fishermen echoed in his ears, whispers of a fool chasing a myth. One day, as the sun beat down on the shimmering water, Horish felt a powerful tug on his line. His heart leapt. This was it, the moment he had waited for. The line went taut, the rod bent nearly double. Horish struggled, his muscles screaming in protest as he reeled in his catch. It was heavier than anything he had ever encountered. Excitement warred with exhaustion. His net, usually filled with the day's bounty, strained under the weight. As he hauled the net aboard, disappointment washed over him. This was no monstrous fish, no creature of the deep. Instead, he found a bottle, its glass thick and green with age. It was lodged firmly in the net, as if placed there intentionally. Curiosity outweighed his initial disappointment. He carefully pried the bottle free, noticing the cork was sealed with wax. An unknown emblem was imprinted on the wax, a symbol he couldn't decipher. With trembling hands, Jorge broke the seal and extracted a rolled-up parchment. The paper was yellowed with age, the ink faded but still legible. He unfolded it carefully, his heart pounding in his chest. Your life's greatest catch is not a fish, the message declared in a flowing script. The words seemed to pulsate with an energy that sent shivers down Jorge's spine. He reread the message, each time feeling a strange sense of peace settle over him. That night, as the moon cast an ethereal glow upon the water, Jorge made a decision. He would no longer chase the elusive. He had spent a lifetime at the mercy of the sea. Now he would heed its message. The next morning, Jorge announced his retirement, much to the astonishment of his fellow fishermen. Some scoffed, others were envious, but Jorge was content. He had found his peace, a different kind of treasure. Years later, Jorge's name once again became a topic of conversation. He had won the national lottery, a life-altering sum. When asked about his incredible luck, Horsch would simply smile and say, I caught my destiny. The story of Horsch, the fisherman who found his fortune after heeding the sea's cryptic message, spread far and wide. He became a local legend, living proof that sometimes the greatest catches in life are not the ones we expect. Could this story of a fisherman's prophetic message in a bottle be true, or is it just a maritime myth? What do you think? This story of the fisherman's last catch is, pause for suspense, fiction. Thanks for joining us on this peculiar journey. 